Oh, I think it's the lifeblood around here, I would say. Uh, that's what this town was built on. My job as a contract pumper is to be here every day. I'm either, I have to be here or somebody else does. I'm in charge of that every day, seven days a week, holidays, whatever. The main goal is to keep it off the ground, obviously no leaks. If there is, we need to catch it as soon as possible. Um, probably the second goal is to keep production normal. Okay, well, we're gonna open this bleeder and show you how it pumps coming out of the ground. This well pumps about 200 barrels of total fluid a day and approximately about one and three quarter percent oil. I like being outside. I like, you know, being by myself for the most part. I mean, yeah, he tells me what to do, but other than that, I don't really have someone to like watch over my shoulder, do this, do that, do this. It's more kind of on me. It's kind of a grind, obviously, seven days a week. And when you first start, you're pretty low. So over the years, I've been able to build up and be able to have Caleb help me here the last couple of years. Whenever we would get sick or something, couldn't go to school, we would ride with him because mom would be working or something. We would just kind of ride in his truck and sleep all day while he checked the wells. And I started helping, I guess, probably a year and a half, almost two years ago. Okay, shut it. That shows you how much more salt water there is than oil. So that separates, the oil comes to the top. The well that we were just at, it goes into this far tank and that's called a gun barrel. It's 15 foot tall. All the fluid goes into it like I did with the jar and it separates there. You got the water at the bottom and the oil up top. It says four foot six on the tape. That's just our scratch pad. How much did it make, Caleb? Three inches. Three inches? That's five barrel. The, the, the oil goes where I just gauged. The water goes out the bottom of that gum barrel into that water tank. And then there's a salt water, what they call salt water disposal well around the corner where it goes back down into the ground under its own constant vacuum. I call in, like when this fills up, we usually haul about 160 barrel uh, is a, called a load for them. It's pretty steady every day. If, if, you're, if you're short, you know, you got to go looking for a leak or, or a downhole problem like the pump, maybe something wrong with the downhole pump or a tubing leak downhole. And then at that point, I got to determine what's wrong and then who to call.